facts have emerged. District Court Chief Judge Francis Tidinko Gatewood today granted the governor's office motion for a full substitution of counsel. Gatewood noting that substitution of the AG's office is warranted due to a breakdown in communication between the AG's and governor's offices, as well as an atmosphere of non-cooperation. The court said she was surprised to learn that the AG's office in August was taking instructions from the receiver by refusing to turn over documents in the client files when requested by Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio. The judge said the information should have been disclosed and expressed concerns that without the lieutenant governor's consent, the AG cannot represent any government entity in the case despite its institutional knowledge of the entire audit consent decree case. It's an argument the governor's office has been making for months as they claim the government has not been adequately represented by the AG's office. Assistant AG Patrick Mason defended the work of the office for the last six years, saying he was shocked and dismayed by what was presented to the court, as he says the office has done its best to comply with the consent decree with the governor's office. So with the full substitution, the court now has before it a motion for a stay of the case and any pending procurement for the closure of the ORDOT dump until the governor's office gets a better handle on what the federal receiver has obligated the government to. I think the primary concern as far as I and the governor are concerned is that the people of Guam can afford um, to pay for what we really need to, to comply with the consent decree. I don't think anyone who wants uh, uh, dirty water or to have littered property, we all want to be able to take and do the right thing. Uh, but what the question is, can we afford to do it? Attorney Rollin Mantononia, who now represents the government, told the court that Gov Guam has been left in the dark to the actual full cost of the dump closure and post closure and maintains that the costs will exceed that which the federal receiver has disclosed, which will have a direct impact on the government's ability to provide services to its people. U.S. EPA attorney Rob Mullaney refuted the claims, calling them baseless. He stressed that the federal receiver has made it clear that there are sufficient funds under the bond money to pay for the closure. Mullaney telling the court it is unacceptable that the government wants to stay the case when the receiver is at the threshold of closing the dump, something that was supposed to have happened six years ago. The U.S. EPA contends that any stay of the case will only be an environmental and health hazard and end up costing the government even more money. Mullaney reminded the court that the U.S. EPA has not enforced the stipulated penalties of $5,000 a day for failure to close the dump, but could file a motion at any time to force the government to pay up. While the U.S. EPA tried to imply today that the only real reason for the stay is to serve the interest of the governor and his family and the original landowners by paying a growing $32 million judgment for the lads on land, Lieutenant Governor Tenorio vehemently disagrees and says it's about much more than that. It's whether or not we have truly been represented that the interest of the people of Guam through their attorney, whether it be the Attorney General or uh, Cabot Mantononia in this case, uh, now that the judge has ruled in our favor on that particular part, uh, are being best represented. Because if we're not party to the conversation, we're not aware of everything that's going into it. Federal Receiver Representative David Manning told the court that a stay would not only endanger the project and delay it by at least one year, but he maintains it would increase the cost significantly and require the project to be rebid. No one wants to see it delayed. I mean, no one, not I, not the governor, not you, no one on this island wants it to see a delay. But at the same time, we also want to make sure that the interest of the people of Guam has it been... Uh, properly represented is the best way I can put it. The court took the matter under advisement. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm in.